right, this is a Cookie Monster BBG, and it's very beautiful. Look at the how it just bleeds right through the color, bleeds right through to the calyx and to the stem. Uh, I got this pod in a box of peppers that I got from Mark Wilkerson, and uh, I'd never heard of this one, so I thought it'd be really cool to try this one out first. Um, there's so many peppers. I'm just gonna try to do like the ones like I really don't know anything about. I'm gonna try to do reviews on those, so when people go on the internet, they can check it out. And you can see, look at the oil on that thing. Just it's puddling up in there. Um, looks really nice on the inside. So I'm trying not to kill myself today, so I'll probably take a much smaller piece. So um, yeah, that smells really good. All right, so let's try this thing out. Welcome to the Obsessive Gardener. Um, this is half of a half, and I already showed you, um, half of a half of a Cookie Monster Bleeding Bubblegum. And I got these, I got a box of peppers sent to me by Mark Wilkerson, and I'm super excited about it. He did say he wanted to send me some peppers. I thought maybe just, you know, a handful but no, he stuffed that thing completely full. I think there's like 27 peppers in there. There's no way I'm doing 27 um, reviews, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try to do as many as I possibly can, keeping in mind that the last pepper uh, that was that I ate, that I grew, um, was a cross. Um, it was a chocolate Maruga Scorpion cross with a yellow reaper. We still don't know who did, who created that cross, but I got the seeds from Batman. If you saw that, you know that that thing messed me up. And what you don't know is later on that night, um, I was turned into a major diva and was like crying and moaning about how bad my stomach hurt. And I literally thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. Um, so I drank a bunch of yogurt before even doing this little piece right here. Um, I see all kinds of oil on it. It's like puddling up. I don't know if you can see it. It's like kind of yellowish. But anyways, I'm gonna eat this thing. Okay, so we lost a flash. I'm about to run out of battery. So we're gonna eat this thing. Cookie Monster Bleeding Bubble Gum. Very good. Um, very hot. The flavor, um. <clears throat> Hold on a second. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> I smell it from right here. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Ooh. It's pretty dang hot. Ooh, excuse me. Uh. Try, try to get through this. It's really hot. Really, really, really hot. I couldn't imagine eating the whole pod. Eyes are watery, whole mouth burning, top lips. Excuse me, <clears throat> tongues and lips mostly. Nose is running, <clears throat> stomach is jerking, spasming. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, heat level. Well, I was talking about the flavor first. Okay, so I think I'm coming back down the other side. Ugh. Excuse me. Whew. Wow, that's a hot pepper. The flavor is very, uh, um, very good. <clears throat> we at like 6.5. Has that very, um, a lot of peach colored pods super hot especially that I've that I've tried which I haven't done a whole lot of them but they have a very similar similar smell very strong very good smell um and uh the flavor tastes very similar to that there wasn't a whole lot of sweetness um uh maybe a little bit fruity but um 
flavor hit and then the heat hit right after that so like right as the heat hit um, I kind of lost all taste <laughs> um, I'm crying pretty bad I'm not gonna touch my eyes with my fingers um, but um, the heat level I say it's up there it's not as bad as the last one I had um, I say it's like an 8 7.5 to 8 which, um, you know, I'm not Johnny Scoville. His, it'd probably be like a four on his or a three, maybe. Yeah, probably wouldn't even be a four on his. But, yeah, it's a really hot pepper, really good pepper. I haven't seen any videos or anything about the Cookie Monster BBG. If you know anything about it, uh, put it down in the comments. Um, so, thanks for watching. And um, I know it's dark outside. I'm just trying to get these things, these out there before they start going bad. So... I may do one or two reviews tomorrow um, if I make it through the night. Thanks for watching The Obsessive Gardener. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.